I'm gonna like cry because I don't know what else would be going on. I'm basically jumpstarts labor because she was afraid like I would go into labor like super fast. Good morning, my loves. Not sure what today's video is gonna be. It's probably not gonna be a full day in the life because all we have to do today is literally clean. I feel like that's what I've been doing my last few videos, so I don't wanna keep putting that footage in there. Sorry if the angle is weird. I'm in the other car. This is probably the car I'll be using after a while because it just has more like space and trunk space and that like double stroller getting it in and out of our Camry is hell. I mean, it fits, but it's just a tight fit and you can't really fit anything else in there. So right now I'm on my way to my doctor's to check to see if I have dilated or shown any signs of labor, which I believe I've gone through contractions. So I was tracking contractions and they were like super inconsistent and um, at least an hour apart, if not more. And they never hit above like a mile so they eventually stopped and then like last night again Eric and I were watching a movie and they started picking up so I asked him to like rub my back and I was just so uncomfortable like my stomach was super hard and like I couldn't breathe <laughs> like it was the worst and then in the middle of the night I went to go like I don't know what my body was doing I don't know if I was trying to get out of bed but Aria was laying on me and so I kind of like swung my leg out and I just had this sharp pain like shoot down my leg so if I go in there right now and she's like oh no you're not dilated I'm gonna like cry because I don't know what else would be going on post editing fix <laughs> quick I could have left the footage in there but it is so blurry and I do not want to do that to you guys especially because it's really crucial information I'm just gonna insert this in now so with my vitals I am 140 that's wrong 185 point nine pounds that's what it was so i have gained 45 pounds this entire pregnancy i am the exact same weight i was when i gave birth to aria and then my blood pressure i was 117 over 60 so that was like perfect when i went in and actually saw the doctor she measured my belly first and she said he's measuring still like beautifully right on track so i'm measuring right at 39 and a half weeks and so then she was like okay we're gonna check your cervix do you want to do a membrane sweep and i never had a membrane sweep with aria so I was like, well, I've never had a membrane sweep. All I've heard is that it hurts. And so she was kind of like talking me through it in the process. So if you guys have never had it, basically what it does is it pushes the bag away from the cervix is what she said. And then it like releases some type of chemical <laughs> and basically jumpstarts labor within the next 24 to 48 hours. She said, okay, well, let's check your cervix first before you decide. And I was like, okay. And so she checked my cervix and Oh my goodness, it hurts so, I'm still like cramping from it. It hurts so bad. It, like my eyes were closed. She kept telling me to relax and breathe and I was like not relaxing or breathing whatsoever. And so she said I was dilated to a two, so I'm two centimeters so far and I'm 50% effaced. And so I was just like, okay. And then she's like, so do you want me to like sweep your membrane? And I'm still like, like I kind of want to, but then I kind of don't want to. <laughs> and um mind you the whole time her fingers are like still up there she's you know just like hey do you want me to do my job and I'm like mm, I can't think because it hurts and so finally she's like oh I'm so sorry let me like <laughs> remove myself from you so you can think she asked how fast my labors were and since I had Aria at like within four hours of me like dilating she was just like okay maybe we shouldn't because she was afraid like I would go into labor like super fast so we did not sweep my membrane. I am dilated and I'm 50% effaced. I don't know if she could fit. I'm, I'm sure she couldn't, but she said his head is super low. So it looks like we should be seeing a baby any day now. I am so excited. So yeah, that's what I was telling you guys in the car, but it was blurry. So I thought I'd just redo it for you. Yeah, we'll just go on with the rest of the video now. What are we doing? We're playing a heartbeat. Oh, you're listening to the heartbeat? What's the baby's heartbeat? Heart. Heart, okay. <laughs> Good job, mama. 
Oh, mommy's heart now? Yes. What about Aria's heart? Can we listen to Aria's heart? Yes. Oh, here it goes. Thump, thump. Thump, thump. Thump, thump. Mommy heart. Thump, thump. Thump, thump. If you guys see, Aria is next to me. She has a bottle right now. I don't know why, which I heard that will happen, especially when the baby comes, like the baby, if the baby's like drinking out of a bottle and stuff, like your toddler kind of resorts back. I know some people have had problems with potty training, which she is in diapers again. So we did like in the beginning of the year, try to potty train. She was doing great with it. And then out of nowhere, she started freaking out. Like when I'd go to sit her on the toilet, it was a big scream fest. So I just pulled back <laughs> because I don't want to do any type of power struggle with it but I jumped back on here for so I'm waiting for my tea to um, cool down a little bit but the red raspberry leaf tea is supposed to help with like labor prep and all that good stuff I wanted to show you while that cools down um, my last Carter's like little haul thought I could do this real quick I, she's been in the mood this morning like she woke up in such a great mood and then I came home and I don't know what's going on Okay, hopefully I can get through this. I'm so sorry, guys, but Carter's is having a 70% off sale online. If you guys know, I use Top Cash Back. So Top Cash Back is kind of like Ebates where you get paid to shop online. And so what's really cool is with the app, like it'll let me know what my favorite stores are. So obviously Carter's, um, I shop there a lot. Amazon is something I shop on a lot too. So if they're ever running a deal, I get notified through the app that, hey, they're running a deal and this is the like amount of cash back we're giving. And then I had coupons and rewards. So it was like I couldn't pass it up. It was such a good deal. But yeah, after all of the coupons, my rewards, the discounts, and the cash back, I think I spent $35 for everything. I'll try to see. I think it has like the original prices on here. So I'll just let you guys know what the original prices was. But everything should have been like 70% off, like I said. I'll start with the baby stuff. So this came in a set of two. Um, so they're little like shorts. I thought those were so cute. They're little stripes. If you guys know, I'm trying to stick with like a, a theme <laughs> or a color. Um, not a color code. I'm like, I'm like brain farting. Basically, I'm doing like a, uh, a capsule wardrobe. So our colors are like navy blue, grays, whites, black, things that are easy to like intermix. I don't know why, I just can't think of the words. Um, so I got little gray ones and these are a newborn size and this was originally $22 for the set of two. So basically like $11 each. But like I said, they were 70% off. And then I got another one. I think it's so cute. They have like little fake pockets. Um, so... Again, just little shorts, neutral colors, um, same price, so $22 for the set, so $11 each with the 70% off. And then I thought these were adorable. I thought I got two of these. So yeah, the two-pack for the shorts ended up being $5. The um, So the active shorts, they were $14. I got these for $4. They're literally like basketball shorts, and they're newborn no, size. <laughs> Um, and it has like a little pull string, so I thought that was cute. I just got shorts for him. Like he has a ton of onesies, so when I was going through the closet, like there was a ton of onesies, but all of his pants are like super thick, fleece lined, and I just didn't want him to like get overheated and put a baby in fleece lined pants in 90 degree weather, like not cute. Okay, and then the next thing for Aria, again, she has a ton of jeans. She doesn't have any shorts, except for, and if you guys saw my last Carter haul, there were a few shorts that I got her there. So these were originally $20. They're super thin. I just thought the prints were so cute. And it basically has like all the colors that we're doing. Um, does not have pockets. It just has like a little ruffle on the side. So these are originally $20. And then they were on sale for $8. And that does not include the cash back that I got. And then I don't know if that includes my like rewards at the end. I want to say these are the most expensive things that I got. Every girl needs like cute denim shorts. I got these for her. They're long. You guys know how I feel about like Daisy Dukes and little kids. These are originally $26 and they were on sale for 10. And then the last thing I got. Okay, so these came in a two pack. I thought they were cute. They were $30 for the two pack, but I got them on sale for $7. So I was like, yes. Like, first of all, why are these $30 <laughs> to begin with? They're just like t-shirts. I don't understand. Like, yeah, it has like a little design. So I don't know if you guys can see. It's like an embroidered heart and like a coral color. Um, 
I guess this would be considered coral, like a neon orange. I don't know what you would consider this color. But I thought that was cute. But I, like, by itself, I would not pay $15 for that. Um, and then this was the other set. So uh, just a regular t-shirt, um, gray, and it has, like, the coral highlighter neon pinkish orange. I don't know what color to call that. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was the set. So, and I thought, I was hoping we could do it. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. So when I try to like shop for this stuff, I try to think of like outfits you can mix and match. So that's like what the coral would look like with the shorts. And then she does have blue shorts that would go um, with the navy blue in here. But that is our little haul. Um, Eric just went to the store. He has to pick up something. He's gonna like finish the yard work. We've been trying to like really crack down on our yard work, but our like garbage can keeps getting full. So it was just emptied um, yesterday. So he is gonna finish up some of the yard work pulling the weeds. The house is pretty much clean. I just have to like go through like little things and take out the trash and stuff. Oh, he's getting me lunch right now. I was craving Taco Bell. So hopefully the next couple vlogs will be me in labor. I'm so excited. I'm so ready. I don't think I'm gonna last. Like I'm not gonna be overdue. I, like I know I'm not. <laughs> so if you are new and you wanna continue and see our labor and delivery vlog make sure to hit that red subscribe button and that notification bell and then guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it really does help my channel out so much when you do that i will link the top cash back um in the description box if you guys are curious i think you automatically if you go through the link get ten dollars back um so it doesn't hurt to try it but as always guys i love you and i will see you in my next video